Alrighty, it's time to finish up this witch's broom. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of measure it against her again. This is kind of what I want. I'm gonna leave my stick kind of down within the broom part of it too, because I want this broom to be able to lean against the ground. And if it was just all fluffy from the broom bristles, it will probably just kind of bend. And so I wanna have the stick supporting it. So I'll move my little witchy out of the way. And then what I'm gonna be using, you can use a few different things for the bristle part. And you can use the straw that we used in the jack-o'-lantern, um, jack-o'-box, or the scarecrow man. Sometimes, other times a year, this is harder to find. Right now it's really easy in the autumn. So, but this is a kind that you can use if you like that look. Or if it's any time of the year, you can use jute or hemp. Either one is fine. But what you want to do is cut it into strips of, I don't know, probably about three inches or so is what I did mine. And then what you want to do is kind of take them apart. We do this a lot in doll making to make tinier strings, like for laces and such. You can take it apart so you're down to two, or you can take it apart... Um, split them further so you got three you can even go further than that if you would like when I did mine I did a mix I probably did about at least 20 pieces of the three inch cuts and then I just unwrapped them all while I was sitting watching TV because <laughs> it took a while to get it all unwrapped and then what I also did is I kind of varied my thicknesses some are thicker and thinner than others just so it was kind of more raggedy looking so let's see actually before I apply this I'm going to do the first layers of paint first so we get that part taken care of all right so where I want to start is actually with some um, some black And this is some golden fluid acrylic. You could use any kind. I find that really the, the cheap craft paints do a pretty good job for this kind of stuff too. All right, so I'm adding just a little bit of water to some of this black so it's gonna be more um, thinned out, just watered down. And then what I want is to have a paper towel nearby so I can kind of blot it a bit too. I want this to go deep down into those sculpting lines that we made in there to make it look like rings on a tree branch. Pretty close. Just a little bit deeper, I think. Just doing a little bit at a time because this color is pretty, like it's pretty intense and it will stick. but it's nice to have it because it will really emphasize all the sculpting we did on this broom handle. Okay, next what we wanna do is use some of our brown and I actually have two colors of brown I'm gonna be using here. First is the Deco Art Burnt Umber. A bunch of that came out. And I also have the Folk Art Cocoa Bean. I just had the two different colors just for more depth and texture. You really don't have to have them or you could adjust your colors with your own paints just depending what you've got. But again, I wanna keep it pretty thin And I think I'm gonna switch to my Derfoot brush just so I can kind of get in there better with this. But I'm gonna take it down and finish out this amount of paint first. Give it a nice woodsy kind of look to it. Mm 
and do the same with the cocoa bean. This one I kind of want to brush a little bit softer, but I'm using the Deerfoot brush because it's got pretty strong bristles. And they're letting me just kind of barely brush it or dig in deep if I want to. Some areas I do want more pinks. I don't want any of my wire showing. I was tying these two sticks together. Now if you want, you could just use one long dowel for this rather than two different sticks, but I wanted mine to be a little bit bent looking. Kind of more like a, a branch, and so that's why I did mine that way. Okay, now for my stick, I'm gonna go in and actually paint it because it's gonna be inside those bristles. Kind of giving it support so as it's being held by the art doll it'll stand up properly still. It's not exactly a functional broom. It's more just for looks. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I wanna do another layer of black and I still need to be holding on to this, so I'm just going to hold it while it's wet down there. Make sure you let it dry thoroughly between the different layers that you add on. I'm adding the black again just to kind of darken up some of that brown and give it a little bit more dimension. Because you see it doesn't darken in uniformly, it just kind of does it here and there. And that's kind of a cool look that we're going for. And I'm still having a little bit of trouble with some of those wires popping through, so I'm going to take a little bit of my paint, just kind of dab it like that. Make sure it's got a few layers on top of it. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry thoroughly. Make sure you've got that tip really well detailed so you can see those cute little details that we've added to it. I want this just a little bit darker. Keep opening that up. Then you can do a little bit of stippling. And again, this is just to vary the colors that you've got going on here. And across the top I'm going to add just a little bit of that cocoa bean because it's a lighter color there. Alright, and just let it dry thoroughly. 